So let's take a look at some button behavior in flow screens. We're going to go over here now. Notice that I am in Service Cloud Console, and I'm going to use Action List, which is new for Summer 18, uh, a component that you can drag onto any page, which is very good for launching flows. So I'm going to launch a flow, a very simple one called Finish Button Test. And what I've done here is I have two different instances of a new component called a navigation button. And I've labeled the first one, click to go to a target URL, and the second one, go to a specific account. So this one's going to navigate, and it's going to do two things. So let's see what happens. The first thing it does is it pops open a tab and loses a, loads a URL. And then if we go back, you'll see that it also finishes the flow. So the flow is now finished. One of the useful things of these navigation buttons is giving you some new finish behavior options. So let's go back and create another example right here. And I'm going to click go to a specific account. And this flow is set up to load a particular account. And watch what happens. It loads the account and closes the flow very cleanly. You can see that the action list is actually keeping track of the completed flows over here. So let's take a quick look at how we're doing that. So we have created a flow screen component called navigation button and like a lot of screen components uh, you can install this into your org. They're basically being written by various various uh, people and you can install it into your org. This one was written by some of us uh, on the side here at Salesforce. And if I go into this screen, uh, you can see that I have here two different lightning components. And if you haven't seen this before, you create lightning components down here by dragging them onto your screen. And in this case I have configured four different settings. The first setting is just the label. So that's just what we're going to see inside the button. Then I can specify target destination and that is a URL. That will only be used if target type is set to URL. This button is currently configured. It can have two values in target type. It can have URL or it can have record. And so if it's a record, if you set target type to record, then you should use target record ID and specify the, uh, the record ID you want. And in this case, I've hard coded one, but you usually are going to use one from upstream in your flow. And then the final thing that I've got set here is I've got this optional navigation type. If you add navigation type, it will attempt uh, it will attempt to carry that out. And that's, that uses a relatively new flow feature called navigation overrides. And basically, if you set this to finish, this component will, will try and carry out the equivalent of clicking on the finish button. And if you, you can set it to uh, back and you can set it to next. Uh, and you, you may have noticed uh, that I had actually, let's go back here and, and start. You may have noticed that there's no next and previous here. Because I have these buttons, I've taken the liberty of turning them off. If you, if you haven't seen that, uh, that is available on every screen. You can now decide, opt whether you want to show uh, headers and or footer. So I've turned off the, autom the automatic standard footer and I'm using these finish buttons instead. And so now with that context, let's take one more look at it. Here I'm going to go to the target URL and because I have specified finish, it's going to close this flow. Now you don't have to specify a uh, navigation type. If, if you didn't, then it would load the URL 
and this screen would still be sitting here. So you, you uh, have a lot of flexibility there. So here we're loading the URL. When we go back, because we told it to finish, it did. And then one last time on the, uh, on the record ID, we're going to go to this account. And look how look how neat that is. We went to the we loaded in the record ID, we closed our flow, uh, and there wasn't even a full screen refresh. So uh, particularly useful in console mode. Uh, it doesn't behave quite as well in some of the other modes in terms of the finish behavior, but still very useful for general navigation and launching. Uh, launching new browser windows and, and tabs. So uh, give that a try. And uh, the place to get it, lightningflow.net, uh, is where you can download this component.